With the right gear, going outside is always an option, no matter what the weather is like. And then you discover new beauty in the smell, the colors, and the music of the drenched forest, in light coming off of wet stones and the sound of the wind with the pine trees. You find new experiences in yourself, in going out when others stay in, in going on when others stop, while you're still outside, running, riding, smiling. Hoe is die jas? Want het is een andere dan dat we net aan hadden. Ja, even iets wat dunner. Maar dezelfde functionaliteit en volgens ons prima. Adem het vermogen. En waterdicht. En zo de koele wind in. Deze zit iets anders. Die andere is wat stretch, wat vaster, wat zwakker zeg maar. Deze zit wat losser. Ja. Zo jongen. Lekker stukje, stukje langs het water gerend. Heerlijk. Ja, het is wel ontzettend mooi. Oh, heel mooi. Door. Erg glad. Ja. Ja. <laughs> en die jas, hè? je hebt nu even ietsjes harder door, doorgezweet. Ja. ja, nu zweet ik. Ja. En ik merk dat ik warm ben, maar ik ja. merk niet dat ik, ik ben niet nat. Ja. Ik merk vooralsnog niks op aan te merken. Three weeks ago we were here in England and uh, we spent an amazing two days in the Kielder Forest. So now we came back um, to the offices of Berghaus here in, uh, in Sunderland. Now what we really wanted to do is meet the, the father of the Hyper Jacket and the Hyper Hunter Jacket, James Hodgson. Cool. Well yeah. thanks for coming to see us and uh, yeah I'm glad that you've uh, made it back. Interestingly the Hyper Jacket, it started life as a, a wind shirt. But as we were giving this to our product testers in the Lake District, they were arguing about who got to take out the super lightweight waterproof. And uh, when they fed back that all their test team wanted it for fell races and things like that, and it was waterproof, we're going, which jacket do they mean? And eventually we realized it was our, our new windshirt. And so we then spent two years after that up in the waterproof level to create what was the world's lightest waterproof jacket. And you know, this takes that performance factor to a whole new level. After Kielder, I also wore it in Holland. Uh, it was about 14, 15 degrees out. A lot of transpiration, a lot of moisture, and obviously the base layer that I was wearing did get wet. Yeah. There wasn't a moment during the bike ride that I wanted to take the jacket off. And, and actually, when I came home and I zipped it open, I felt the inside of the jacket and there was no condensation. It was dry. I mean, that's the experience that we're finding both in a lab. You know, we start in the lab testing the fabrics to make our fabric choices and we knew this was truly exceptional. But we're hearing similar feedback from long distance runners, endurance cyclists, mountain marathon athletes. Yeah. Leo Holding wore this on the bugapoos. Yeah. He climbed a thousand meters of rock, including an off-width chimney, and we're also seeing how exceptionally strong this fabric is. Yeah. It's nylon 6-6, one of the strongest types of nylon yarns available, and due to its stretch and the, the weave structure, it's exceptionally strong for its weight yeah. as well. Yeah, the design's super nice on this. Um, so I worked on this with another designer, Joe, who's really, really exceptionally talented, and we have an amazing sample and development team as well within Berghaus. So this was a, a real group project. I think that's important to say. But it's also the culmination of the work that I've been doing on lightweight products for multiple years. Since the, I mean, we went full geek on this. The glue that we used is half as thick as the glue we normally use. The tape was specifically developed. It's ultra narrow, but it's also ultra thin. Half of the hems are laser cut and bound. All of this trim was exclusively developed for us. The tape, the hem, the zip, they all weigh a fraction of the usual component tree that we use. Super durable, super breathable, and super lightweight. Aside from the, the technical stuff, which we all love to talk about, what is your personal drive to go outdoors? Yeah, I mean, I love being outdoors. I was born into this lifestyle. My dad was mountain rescue leader in the Lake District Keswick team for 20 years, and so, 
for as long as I can remember, the outdoors have been a fundamental part of my life. And that's the same for everybody here at Berghaus. You know, we, we create gear to enable people to enjoy the outdoors. It, it's, it's a love of being outside that makes us all want to do what we do. And I think we talked about versatility, breathability, all those things are super important because the best gear you don't notice. You know, and, and that's what we want. We want a jacket you can put on, leave on, and it doesn't distract you or annoy you from being outside, because that's what it's all about. You can go out uh, anytime, anywhere, any place, and that's, I think you asked, uh, you know, uh, uh, how we appreciated the, the kit, and I think that is more than, more than anything, more than technical stuff, it's just that it has uh, opened up new, you know, experiences and new new forms of, of, of enjoying nature, and I think that's the greatest gift that a, a, a good piece of gear can give you. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing better you could tell me. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Very much. Cool.